Hello Virgo, this is your girl Aqua Goddess coming to give you guys your quick general daily reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, you want to see me use any specific card deck, <clears throat> donate to the channel, anything of that sort, information will be in the description box below. Also, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so that you'll get your updates for the future reads. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, Virgo, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. <clears throat> Somebody don't want me to give y'all this reading. <clears throat> Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please provide the most clearest messages for the sign of Virgo. Please return all negative energy back to center 10 million fold. And anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. All right, Spirit, what do you want me to tell Virgo? Some of you guys are definitely going to be getting a financial increase, an, opp an opportunity. Uh, money, a new job, something, something that you're going to be very happy about. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you all could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody's not who they say they are. Okay. This is someone that wears a mask. They could be trying to get some money from you. Or trying to manipulate a situation to have access to your blessings. See, this hand is the hand from the Most High. This means that there is a gift from the universe, from the Most High, from Spirit, that's just yours. This person, they want it. <clears throat> okay, what else, Spirit? What else for Virgo? Oops. So many, but I'll take this one to flip right over. Okay. So, yeah, I told you this person wants money. So some of you all could be very generous individuals where you like to help people that you really care about. You know? Just out of the kindness of your heart because that's the type of person you are. This person likes to manipulate situations, especially when it comes to money. So this is someone who would ask you for money. This is someone who would come around when you have money or when things are going well for you. This is someone, if you go somewhere with them, they're going to expect you to pay the bill. Yeah. Okay. Spirit is saying that there's a new opportunity. <clears throat> Enjoy your blessings that you earned. There's a door waiting for you, and you may not know what's on the other side of it. But trust me, walk through that door, because there's something beautiful there. I got this message for either, I want to say Leo. So some of you guys could definitely be connecting to the sign of Leo. <clears throat> Okay, what else do you want to tell Virgo Spirit? You're dealing with someone that's very stubborn. They don't like to be exposed. Yeah. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I said they don't like to be exposed and secrets came out here. So this could be someone that you already kind of don't trust for real. Or let's just say 
it's always in the back of your head. Like, is this motherfucking lying? Are they doing something that's questionable? Like, this person just is a paranoid person. Like, it's like they give off the energy where they're always scared that you're going to find out something. And that's because, especially if you don't live with this person, this person is already entangled with somebody it could be a marriage it could be a commitment it could just be something that they do every day who knows but i'm picking up that this person may be married they're already involved with someone hmm or this could be someone that you're married to that you're questioning But I'm definitely seeing that some of you guys may be getting a new home or you might be moving. You may be meeting, meeting someone and making things official with them. You guys might discuss moving in together. Or this could be this person. They could be having issues with their connection and maybe they got kicked out or whatever the case may be. And they could want to try to come and make something official with you because they see that you make a lot of money, you got a nice home, whatever the case may be. Okay. So this is, I'm definitely speaking to several groups of Virgos here. Everybody's story ain't the same, but I'm definitely picking up some energy that I don't trust. Okay. Okay. So the energy is that once you leave this situation alone, there's going to be someone new that you meet that's going to be ready for the things that you're ready for. This person does not bullshit. You don't have to worry about them lying or being messy and messing with other people. This is somebody who already knows what they want. They're loyal. They don't have a commitment phobia or no shit like that. And they know how to treat people, especially the people that they love, especially their partner. This person may want to move in with you or you move in with them or just build something. What else, spirit? Some of you guys could be dealing with Aries. Um, so with the full card here, it's just really honestly, it's just taking that that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? Just taking that that risk, that chance. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Taking a chance is like a hit or miss, right? But 97.5% of the time, it's the right choice. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, to just take a chance and see how shit go. That could be with anything, business, love, whatever. Yeah, this is definitely fast movement towards this leap of faith. So I'm saying that you know, you're moving very fast. You know exactly what you want. And it's like you jumping. You letting go of this burden as quickly as possible. Because you already then picked up the energy that something sketchy about this mug. Or they want money. Or something about them just is a weird energy. So it's like you just letting go of all the baggage. And... Moving forward and as soon as you let it go, you're gonna make so much space for new shit to come in here mm. What else Yeah So this definitely is um, Aries Aries Leo Sag energy here it's like with this person, y'all have arguments. This person is very jealous. This past person here. 
very cutting with words. Like, very codependent energy. Yeah, this person from the past is losing their spiritual protection here. Because of all of the secrets, because of the catfish. It's like they don't have the shield of the spiritual protection around them. So this person is definitely in a situation to where anything can happen because their spirit is evil. Their spirit is very, very evil. This is the reason why they're mentally trapped. This person can actually have mental issues like narcissistic, uh, narcissistic issues or like schizophrenia. Something is going on with this person's mental health. Like they actually could get a check for it because I ain't, I ain't even trying to be funny. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not trying to be funny at all. But you got mental illness here and then you got money. This person could get a check, like, because they ain't all the way there. Like, this person is missing some screws. Some of y'all Virgos could be dealing with a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Or you could have this in your chart. But I'm definitely feeling like you just come off as a very healing person. Very intuitive. Like even if somebody don't tell you what's wrong, you can pick up on the energy. Whether it be they need some money, whether it be they need whatever, or whether it be they got something on their mind. 1212 when I'm saying this. Look up angel number 1212. But it's like... You try to nurture situations, but then it's, you're not going to be overthinking some shit when you want to focus on your money. You know what I'm saying? And your happiness. So it's just some shit that you're just not going to commit to when it comes to entertaining somebody, especially if they got mental issues. Yeah. So it's like you let go of control. Some of you guys could be fathers or you could be dealing with someone that's a father. But or Aries here energy. It's like you let go of control of trying to make this like you could have thought some shit out in your head like, dang, I wanna marry this person, I want us to have a nice big house, this, this and the third. And, you know, maybe this why y'all even got into the little arguments because you care. Like, let's just keep it G. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you try to fix some shit and then you realize, let me just let go of control. And the moment that you let go of control, the universe and your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, all of your whole team steps in and they create this path for you to go through. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know it's true because I got chills, but they create this path though, where it's like, you no longer have to fight against this cold hearted person. You don't, you can let that shit go. You can take this leap of faith, right? And you can receive these blessings. And that's where spirit has put you at. Like that's the position spirit puts you in. So, okay. <clears throat> Good news. Yeah. Good news definitely when it comes to money. Some of you guys are going to be getting some money from somebody. Yeah. Yeah, you just let go because it's like you tired of that. You guys could have lived with this person and it's just like, you know what? Yeah. I don't care. I'll leave. Yeah. All that shit I was thinking about in my head, how our future would be, I'll leave. Because I can manifest what I really want. Yeah, I can manifest everything I really want. And that was your whole energy. I see you.
Yeah, somebody that won't juggle me. Somebody that can keep their fucking balance and not throw me off my shit. And I can embody self-love. I can choose me first. You feel me? I can step into my power. Watch how I work. See me accomplish shit. You see what I'm saying? Like that type of energy. What else for Virgo? This is your energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So you see how she's holding her stomach, right? So you guys are birthing new ideas. Some of you guys new children. But you are just fertile. And it's like you have to grow. So it's like it's like putting a snake in a tank the, the small. The snake get bigger, but then it's going to stop growing. Because it needs a bigger tank. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, as soon as you remove the obstacle, you can grow. Divine wisdom. This ain't nothing but the most high, the spirit, the angels, whoever you go to. Whoever you praise. Divine intervention. Stepping in to make shit happen. Because you got places to go. You got things to do. You're manifesting. Like you have like things to do. You see what I'm saying? So this divine wisdom. <clears throat> this is the door. Yeah. Independent. You don't have to feel tamed. You know what I mean? Like, you can just be free. But that's all I got for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this reading or if it resonated with you, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to be notified for future reads. Talk to you soon. Peace.